ever since rebooting it in 2013, Tomb Raider has seen one of the most successful franchise reinventions uh, of the past couple decades and here to talk about the newest installment and show some real gameplay, right? We've got Rich Briggs and Daniel from uh, the team. Uh, guys, uh, we saw a trailer yesterday. We got teased a few weeks ago, but we're going to get right now into Shadow of the Tomb Raider. So what do we got, guys? We got, we got some gameplay we're going to see? Absolutely. All hey, right. Jeff, thanks for having us on. Great, Great to, to have you guys here. on it. Yes. Thank you. So we, we've shown now what it means for Lara to have this defining moment. Yep. So just now at the Square Enix press briefing, we showed an extended gameplay, yeah. specifically focusing on a couple things. The first one was the very first scene of the, of the game. That's literally how we drop you into the experience. Yeah. Then we do a little bit of a flashback. Yeah. And then we also have Lara becoming one with the jungle. Wow. So this is a look at the CG, CG trailer. trailer. Exactly. This was obviously what we started with. It was all about setting the, the tone, setting the, the mood. We wanted to really make yep. sure that we let you know that Yes, Tomb Raider is back, but it's a little bit darker this time around because yeah. it's set against that backdrop of a Maya apocalypse. Yeah. And Lara Croft is is basically the most capable, the most calculating she's ever been before. Yeah. And she's going to need it in order to try and save the world this time. I know uh, stealth is going to be a big part of this, uh, you know, sneaking around the jungle. Daniel, from a gameplay perspective, you've had a great history of working on these Tomb Raider games. Before that, Ubisoft working on the systems and the combat. Tell us a bit about, you know, how stealth factors into this game. By one of the points that was very important for us is like, how can we bring, you know, the aspect of puzzle uh, into the combat itself when we look at the stealth? Because one of the things we did on Rise were bringing a lot more opportunities and options in what we call the, you know, the assault, yeah. which is, you know, getting in front and attacking the guys directly with, with machine guns and stuff. And the stealth yeah. was something that we want to push a lot more and, and having Lara becoming the jungle, not just having her, you know, being uh, there and taking the, the guys down, but becoming the world, becoming the, the actual uh, environment. And that we had to create a lot of opportunities, a lot of ingredients, you know, that the player can use and a lot of options to, for him to play the way he wants in terms of the stealth and becoming that world. And so we it was also, very important. And we made a couple changes too this time around. So the enemies previously, if you ever what we call pop the bubble, yeah, they would always stay in, in that, okay, we know Lara's there and you have to finish that combat in assault. So yeah. now we've actually tweaked the AI and the enemy behavior so that if you pop the bubble, you go into assault, but then you go up into the canopy, you yeah. hang around in the trees, you can evade them for long enough, they'll go back into stealth. You know, they'll be looking for you, right. but eventually go back to the normal routine so that you can re-engage at stealth. Well, I got to play this a few weeks ago, uh, and I apologize, I thought we had some gameplay we're gonna show you guys. If our team can get that up, it would be great. But anyways, uh, we wanted to talk a bit about the experience, because I mean, this game is sort of cinematic, very visceral. Um, and getting to play through it, you guys have really upped the ante, I think, with sort of the cinematic aspects, the puzzling, even the swimming feels like, yeah, you know, absolutely. That, like, you know, across the board, it feels like all the environmental elements are even stronger in this game. And, and, and I love to hear you say that because that's what we absolutely were setting out to do yeah. was every single facet of our of our core pillars, we wanted to evolve and we wanted to up the ante. So obviously from the narrative, it's, it's Lara Croft's defining moment. It's her being more conflicted, more inner turmoil than ever before, but then with the hubs. We're yeah. delivering the biggest hub that's ever been found in a Tomb Raider game. So there's more challenge tombs, more side quests, more things to do. On the traversal, we've got, you know, not just the uh, the repelling, but the underwater swimming mechanics. So you've got survival, you've got the uh, the, the underwater exploration, yeah. the combat we talked about, the additions to the stealth as well as to the assault modes, making sure that Lara feels very capable and confident. Yeah. And then of course on the tombs, we have more tombs. They're, they're more than ever before, they're bigger than ever before, right. and absolutely scarier and deadlier than ever before. Wow, well, it looks <laughs> incredible. It's a great looking game. Coming soon, coming in uh, September, right? Absolutely, Shadow of the Tomb Raider will be available on September 14th for the Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Awesome, well, I know you guys have uh, been very faithful to reinventing Lara, the third, the, this trilogy, I guess, of uh, her uh, story. And yeah, she definitely seems a lot more badass. When we saw that trailer, I was like, oh, this is like Rambo Lara. I mean, <laughs> she is uh, definitely in the jungle, causing trouble, and we're excited. We also have a panel with you guys here at E3. Yes. So Ludington, the star of uh, Tomb Raider, will be uh, with us. So that'll stream here on YouTube on uh, Wednesday, I believe. Uh, there'll be a special panel, so we'll see you guys then. And thanks so much for uh, dropping by and hanging with us.